I start by heating some vegetable oil and adding in some cinnamon and cloves and I let that sizzle. Then I go in with some cumin seeds, let those crackle. Next, some fenugreek seeds. And once they've sizzled, I go in with diced ginger and garlic and I add that in, stir it well and let it brown. After browning, I go in with some slit fresh green chilies and then some fresh curry leaves. Stir it all together and that is my vughar. Into my vughar, I add in one large diced onion. Add salt, stir well and let the onion fry until soft and brown. Into the browned onions, add in a fresh paste of fresh green chilli, garlic and ginger. Stir in well and fry for two to three minutes. Next, add in one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of red chilli powder. Stir all your spices well and fry them for one to two minutes along with the onions. Into the spiced onion base, add in your joints of crab. Once added, stir them really well to coat. Fry for five minutes. Next, add in eight fresh tomatoes which have been medium chopped. Stir really, really well and mix in with the fried crab. Cover with a lid and leave for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the tomato should have melted to create a sauce. Into the sauce base, add gokum or tamarind and add water to your preference according to how thin you like the sauce. Stir really well and leave to simmer for another final 10 minutes. Finish the dish with garam masala. Stir well, simmer for a final minute and sprinkle over freshly chopped coriander. And there you have it, the most delicious Gujarati crab curry. Perfect when served with rotlis and rice. Enjoy guys!